Kazakhstan Salim, welcome to inform you. How can a loser boxer be confident in his punches? He tries to get into the back, but the back seems to be good in the corners. Regis Strickland is a former professional American boxer who is included in the Guinness Book of Records as the worst boxer in the world. However, the American made good money and does not consider himself a failure. Such guys may fights with interest that people bought tickets in the thousands and in many countries of the world he was mega cool. Despite such a long series of defeats, Reggie managed to run the track record of 14 undefeated boxers against him by writing the number one in their column. The greatest boxers in the world have dozens of victories and only a few defeats on their records, some even do without them. However, the American Reggie Strickland gained worldwide fame thanks to an insane number of defeats. But at the same time, he definitely knew how to box. Reggie has the most losses in boxing history. He fought 363 fights and suffered 276 defeats. One has only to marvel at his tenacity and willpower. Nassim Hamd retired from boxing after just one defeat, while Lennox Lewis retired after a controversial win. As it may, Reggie continues to cause controversy and is very interesting to the American public. Americans love such original heroes. His fights were shown by the famous American channels HBO and ASPN. At the age of 18, the American turned already professional before that. According to his own statements, Reggie had 90 fights at the amateur level, in which he scored 72 victories. No one has been able to verify this information so we can only take Strickland's word for it. However, there is no doubt that in 1987 the guy set out to conquer the professional ring and began his career with a defeat from Compatria Ellery Thomas. Stickland's second fight ended in victory, which greatly encouraged him. The American was then hit by a cold shower of eight defeats in a row, four of which were early. Another boxer after nine failures in ten fights would have thought about changing his profession, but Reggie was not going to give up so easily. He decided to take it not by quality but by quantity, so he began to take on more and more new battles with tripled energy. Strickland fought 15 fights a month at the peak of his career. The balance of victories and defeats did not change much for the better, but Strickland's had a stable income. He didn't care about the constant ridicule of people who paid attention to his personal record. He traveled around the country at a crazy pace and continued to fight for money. The vast majority of fights ended in defeats for Reggie. Sometimes he was knocked out. The boxing commissions of several states where Strickland competed eventually paid attention to a unique athlete who participated in fights without a break, in many of which he got a lot of trouble. This caused serious concern among the functionaries, since no one wanted Reggie to be seriously injured or even lose his life on their territory. Thus, in the mid-90s in Ohio, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Illinois and Nevada, Strickland was banned from unlimited fights and the athlete was everywhere required to take a 60-day break after defeats. For most of his career, Strickland received anywhere from $500 to $1,000 to enter the ring, so in the mid-90s he simply could not afford the long downtime required by the rules. In addition, Reggie's body turned out to be extremely strong and by some miracle he avoided serious injuries. Therefore, the American decided to bypass these very rules. I know my body. I know what I can handle. 
I feel like it's the best job in the world to just picking up the phone and making two or three grand bucks, said Reggie Strickland. At the first time the athlete entered tournaments under other names, he used the pseudonyms Reggie Boos and Reggie Raglin. However, this scheme was quickly discovered and the boxer was again blacklisted. But Strickland did not lose heart. He was able to find a common language with the Indiana State Boxing Commission, where local functionaries agreed to provide him with a sufficient number of fights despite the risk of death. In 2000, the boxer even managed to become the state champion in two weight categories at once, light heavyweight and second middleweight, but at that time he had 50 victories and more than 200 defeats. Among the boxers Strickland has worked with is former world welterweight and junior middleweight champion Ricardo Mayorga. However, according to Reddy, the cooperation did not work out. It was very easy to hit him, so I was quickly sent home, the American recalled. At the beginning of the 2000s, Strickland became widely known in the United States. Fans gave the boxer the pseudonym Professional Loser and entire communities of fans of the unusual athlete began to appear online. Despite the horrific statistics, Strickland faced several famous boxers in the ring. He has fights with Lonnie Smith, Charles Brewer, Tavares Cloud, Randall Bale and Corey Spinks, who have won the titles of world champions in different versions. He also met with Hugo Pineda, Paul Frank, Reggie Green and Robin Williams, who were later contenders for championship titles. In addition, the American claims that in many fights he was openly condemned. I don't consider myself a failure. I have fought in almost every state in the US and several other countries, earned tens of thousands of dollars and suffered almost no injuries. Everyone who has been in the ring with me knows that I can fight, said Reggie Strickland. Strickland came to professional boxing after his older brother Jerry, who also performed in the ring, to put it middly without much success. Reggie's relative has 13 victories and 122 defeats. Also in the ring was Strickland's first wife, who also wowed fans with an abysmal personal record of 2 and 28. One of the Reggie's nephews does not have a single victory in 28 professional fights. Strickland's not only had an eventful professional career, but also a rich personal life. Now the American is married for the third time, and he has a total of 10 children from different women. Oldest child is 34 years old, the youngest is 5 years old. With so many heirs, the boxer simply had no right to give up after finishing his career. Reggie did not make an impressive fortune during his career, so he had to look for work. The boxer managed to work as a roofer painter, sure salesman and waiter. Arthur Strickland did not become a millionaire and did not achieve anything outstanding. He was able to go down in history. At the very least, his story will be retold for decades to come. This year, Rager celebrated his 55th birthday and by his appearance you can tell that the man has more than 350 boxing fights at the professional level. Fit and smiling Strickland looks as if he is ready to pick up the phone at any moment and agree to the offer to enter the ring in the next fight. Stay safe and stay tuned! No f um blin pseudonyms. Oh yeah.